Sounds really cool. It is a POS. <laughs> it is the worst thing you've ever seen. It, I, I ordered this thinking it was something else. <laughs> It sounds like a toy rattle or something. It's horrible. I would say for student trumpet players who live in apartments who are just getting into playing with um, pedals, start off with one of these, I would say, and build up. Hello. Hello. My name's Phil. I'm JJ. Welcome to another episode of the Distorted Trumpet Show. We are here with more fun and frolics in the world of guitar pedals, answering the much sought after question of whether guitar pedals sound better on a guitar or on a trumpet. <laughs> uh, and we aim to test lots and go through lots. So we hope you're enjoying the show. Thank you for all the subscriptions and the likes and the comments. And we have something exciting, I'm sure, in this... Uh... This one, we really are going to answer that question. Are we? This is going to be a challenge. Wow. This, this one is, is a cool. challenge, so let's get it on. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is a biggie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, You've no idea what you're looking at, right? I have. Uh, so this is three in one oh, mixer, guitar amp modeling, voice effects processor. Mm -hmm. IFXCT GT GT DJ guitar. Tech built-in harmonic tuner. It sounds really exciting, anyway. It's really cool, isn't it? So tonight is a is a challenge. Oh, here, Phil. So so far we've. I mean, actually, we haven't done. Really expensive pedals, have we? You know, a majority of the pedals we've done, we've oh, yeah. done AliExpress, we've done Behringer, yeah, yeah, yeah. we've done some more expensive pedals, and there are some more expensive ones to come. Right. Um, but I think what we're missing is the the fact that sometimes you've got to be a bit budget. Not everybody can drop sure, a yeah, load of money. Like, yeah. None of us can no. drop money on expensive stuff. Yeah. So today's a challenge. All right. This is 10 euros. Okay. Second hand, it's from the early 2000s. It right. is, what's it called? The DJ Tech IFXGT. Sounds really cool. It is a POS. <laughs> it is the worst thing you've ever seen. It, I, I ordered this thinking it was something else. Um, I thought it was a kind of mix. It does come with a, does come with a, a CD. Um, I don't have a CD player, so that is oh, absolutely yeah. no use to me whatsoever. Um, maybe you can talk about the weight of that. This weighs <laughs> absolutely nothing. It weighs it's less than the next it weighs, <laughs> Yes, it is. It weighs less than my trumpet. <laughs> That's the most things. No, no, no. It's, it's, it, no it's, it, it's a plastic piece of crap. Like I said, um, I think I paid 15 euros for it. Um, it is, it's nasty. It is a nasty thing, but... <laughs> you're, but sell it, you're selling this. No, no, because I think, you know, we've got to remember... It's that, I like that, it, yeah. That, um, that you don't ha always have access yeah. to decent gear. And, for example, when I, um, when I gig um, in my, my other bands, um, I'm not taking out the best equipment I've got. I'm taking out all the Behringer stuff, because invariably... Somebody's going to drop something on my stuff or spill beer on it. So I don't want to take all my good stuff. Um, and also, actually, behind here, this is my old Boss GT6. Um, which, again, you can pick one of those up for, like, 60 bucks now. Yeah. Um, and at the time, it was the, the, height, of, the height of Guitar X in the 90s. Mm. And that's a really good multiprocessor. This is a terrible multiprocessor. So today's challenge, if you choose to accept it, <laughs> yes. this may self-destruct, because <laughs> it is such a POS, is can you get a decent tone out of this right, on the on. trumpet, on the, on the guitar? I'm willing to accept this mission. Okay, get it on. All right. 
Thanks. Yep. Interesting. <laughs> okay, we're back in the room. We're plugged in. <clears throat> um, so, normal sort of chain. Um, I've got my Gretsch Black Falcon. Um, I'm going into an ABY splitter. We're going into the pedal, although it's a, a multi effects unit. What was it? Amp Pro, so it's kind of an everything. It's the sort of yeah. thing that you can plug your guitar into and you put headphones in it. Yeah. Okay. And from that, into a volume pedal, into my Black Star Amped 2, and then we're into a Marshall cab in the room. So just hearing in room sound. So I just want to go through this thing. Yes. Whatever it is. Um, so you've got inputs, you've got um, you've got a guitar input and a mic input. So I think you can have actually have oh, wow. two things going at the same time. Yeah. You've got um, auxiliary input, so you can play some music through it or something. Right. And you've got headphones. So this is actually a perfect sort of thing if you want to do headphones. It's powered yeah. by this dodgy cable, yeah. uh, which is a really weird voltage, um, but you can put batteries in it. Um, so if you were traveling and you just wanted like a little portable rig, you only want to spend like 10, 15 bucks. Mm. If you can find one second hand, yeah. it's pretty good. Then the way that it's kind of structured, you've got the amplifier choice here. Yeah. So you've got acoustic clean, so it's on this switch. Acoustic clean, distortion one, distortion two, microphone, and then the tuner. Mm. <laughs> the tuner is fascinating. <laughs> we'll come on to the tuner. Then you have the EFX, e e effects, that's <laughs> effects from Yorkshire, right? Um, no. <laughs> chorus, flanger, phaser, trem. Yeah. Then we have colour or tuner. Colour is kind of tone, so right. okay. lefty righty tone. Tuner, I will explain when we get onto the tuner, because right. like I said, it's wild. Um, gain, yeah. reverb, one side, echo on the other side, so okay. delay, and master volume. That's it. Mega. Um, so the challenge is try and get something that sounds half decent. Uh, out uh, what's what's because uh, this it says got a thing for an iPod. I mean, yeah, I mean iPod, I mean, but like the, the reason I bought it was because I wanted like a mini two channel mixing desk, and they do one that is a two channel mixing desk, and I got confused. I thought it was a mixing desk right. with a guitar input. So. And I thought, oh yeah, you can plug your iPad in. It's not, it's just a phone holder. So you just rest your uh, phone in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's I'm on the, world. The, early the early 2000s. Uh, uh, best when iPods tape. were a physical device that, that you bought. It might even be before iPods. Yeah. Right. Okay, so do you want to twiddle, twiddly twiddle? It's already on. Well, okie dokie. Just maybe a bit of volume first. Yeah. Must yeah. Ball. Okay, okay. So, Not too bad, actually. Yeah. Let's so start with the, the uh, go through the amplifiers. Your so. head is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Start again. So. Clean. This is clean. That's quite um. Oh, this is where it gets horrible. Distortion two gives a bit of gain. So this is so distortion one. From what I've seen of it, distortion one is kind of low gain, and distortion two is high gain. Yeah. So. <laughs> Then try some of these effects and yeah. sort of nice wet, wet reverb.
Yeah, so what are you on there? You're on mic. I'm on microphone there, yes. Yeah, microphone so with some effect. Let's do tune. Let's uh, do the tune on the last okay, bit. So try, right. try and find a sound that we like and then we'll try and replicate right, it. Well, clean. The... I like clean. I like clean. Let's hear a bit more. So for me, I quite like the acoustic. The acoustic with everything on. With, uh, with, with like this, quite like this. It's a nice bass, quite nice. So it's like flangy, let's turn that off, and just as much wet reverb as you can get. Quite like that, then the other one I like is the microphone one, this might be a bit loud. Again, let's put some phaser. Yeah. Put the delay on. It's not bad. It's not bad, is it? I kind of like it. So we can get something fun out of it. We can. Before we move on, we've got to try this tuner. Please, I'm intrigued. <laughs> so, tuner. Yes. And then you see it's E A D G B E, so that's the things on oh. the notes on the guitar. Right. And what it does, it kind of emits a tone. Right. That you so you can you can tune, you can to, tune it. to it. So let's. So for example, if I detune. That's out of phase, and as it tunes in, it's quite good. It's quite good. Let's try it with an A. So that's good. What I like is actually when you're in A, you play an E, you won't hear anything. Yeah. You shouldn't hear anything. But what you can do is you can put it on something like really weird, like the top E, and then just play some something weird. Oh, it's got like a kind of effect by, yeah, right. Because what it's going to do there, it's only going to play loud the sound that's an E. So yeah. here, if I'm arpeggiating through through E sus4, the E note is loud, or yeah. the other note are not loud. Or if you put like an E through an A, which doesn't have an A in it, what do you get? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, it's like a yeah. interesting, like stoppy starty. Yeah, so there we go. Right. Um, so, so for me, Mega. it's a horrible thing. Um, yes. But there are some little gems. There's some nuggets right, of fun. Yeah. We got some decent sound out, and of that. and that. Tuner thing, not for the reason it's designed for, no. just for the as an extra little bit yeah. of thing. Yeah, no, it's, it's a bit of fun. It's, Definitely, it's, it's, it's an interesting. Uh... And it's it's the sort of thing that you could take if you if you're going a work trip or a trip, you know, some sort yes. of trip. You wanted to play your electric guitar. You throw electric guitar in. You throw a cable, a headphone, yeah, and a nine volt battery. And you can Bob's your badger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's get Trumpy Badger. I'm really intrigued as to how this is going to sound. I have no idea. What are you playing through today, Phil? Today, <laughs> um, see every other video so far. <laughs> yeah. If so. you're not up to speed yet, you really need to watch all the old episodes. Yeah. Because it's exactly the same. I'm not talking through it again. Okay. Just watch the old episodes and then you'll find out if you don't know what it is. Right then. Clean time. Uh, turn it on. <laughs> oh, sorry. No. There. Yeah. So that's acoustic. Let's try clean. Oops. Okay. You ready for some distortion? <laughs> It sounds like a toy rattle or something. It's horrible. 
Okay. High gain distortion. <laughs> It's like uh, you're just playing through one of those mini speakers. It's yes. probably like this mini speaker here. If yeah. you played through that loud, it would play like that little, the little Marshall Stacks. Yeah. Hang on, I'm going to go through them. There you go. Marshall Stacks are quite good, actually. I quite like mine. Yeah? Yeah. So that's the microphone. That's all right. It's all right. Okay, let's try. Let's leave it on the microphone because I, I think this is the best one. The yeah. microphone. Let's throw some reverb. I'm going to go full reverb because that's what I like. Yeah, that's right. That. That's nice, that. Yeah, let's try a bit of delay. So you, what's what's your trumpet I'm, tuned to? I'm up, uh, I'm up a tone, so you certainly are, my friend. <laughs> um, so that means it's an F, right? Yes. So you should only hear E. So you should only hear your major seven. That's a B flat, which is a an A for. Well, that, this play that B flat again. You sure it's not? I thought you were tone up. Yeah, go up one. Go up a tone. I go up a semi tone. What's that G? So <clears throat> there's yeah, there's a lot that. of <clears throat> I see a lot of chat in the pedal community about um, about uh, lo-fi stuff and sort of bit crushers yes. those sort of things. I think this tuner accidentally yes. does that. It yeah, yeah, does yeah. do a bit crush. Yes. If you avoid yeah, the tone, so for example, out, you set it to E, and you make sure you don't play an E. Yeah. Then you can then you can play uh, you can get something. Out of it. But apart from that, go to the microphone tuner, the mi microphone amp, gain down, volume up, tone a little bit down, and then Yes. So, 
Very nice. Challenge. Did, was the challenge accepted? Challenge was, was challenge, accepted. Was the challenge achieved, would you say? I think we both found somewhere in this which sounded reasonably acceptable. Yeah. The colour tuner is definitely an interesting <laughs> thing. I think I would probably probably go with the flanger. Flanger. With, uh, which one's microphone? That one? Microphone. Yeah. yeah. And that one. No, no shade. Yeah. Yeah, so so again, I mean, that's kind of the point I wanted to get across that you, you see people talking a lot about high end gear, you know, distortion pedals, yeah. boutique pedals that are three hundred bucks just yeah. for a distortion pedal. You um, don't need to spend all that much money. You don't need to spend much money no. at all. You can get something except, I mean, I mean you're uh, not gigging with it, but... <laughs> no, but like, as a, you know, from a trumpet player's perspective, like, if you're a trumpet player and you've not played with pedals before, starting off with something like this, just to mess around with it and understand what all of these do, because if you've never played with guitarists, other than watching them on the telly, you might not even know what any of these things do, so... Starting off with something like this, especially if you can pick it up for a tenner, yeah, and then experiment with this. Stick your, because in theory you could like if you've got your headphones in this and you're playing with a with a silent mute, then you're the only one who's hearing this. Nobody, you're going to be able to play this in a in an apartment and nobody yeah, can hear it. That is that's um, a really good point. Yeah. So this is really good, I would say, for student trumpet players who live in apartments who are just getting into playing with um, pedals start off with one of these I would say and build up or well, something first. like that yeah. yes yeah. or 10 quid ten, you can't go wrong for 10 quid exactly it's yeah. a tenner in it yeah right good. all right good choice nice challenge accepted challenge uh, achieved yes absolutely <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right thanks okay. a lot see you soon see you next time cheers bye <laughs>